Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really exciting one for me because if you've been following me for a little while um, or on social media or anything like that, you will know that number one, I'm an Avon rep and number two, I love lipsticks. So I noticed in the last Avon brochure that they have bought out a range of matte lipsticks and their slogan said um, more matte than MAC and this really caught my eye. I never really see brands mention other brands or compare themselves directly to another product from another brand. Um, so I saw that and I was like, oh my God, I need to check out these lipsticks. So I bought two of them for myself and I got the shade Posh Petal, which I'm actually wearing now. And I also noticed this one, which is Au Naturel which is a very, very similar shade to MAC Velvet Teddy, which I also own. And I also picked up a lip liner called Simply Spice, and I also own MAC Spice Lip Liner. So what I wanted to do was a real comparison, see if the Avon products were a good dupe for the MAC products. Avon have bought out 15 shades of their perfectly matte lipstick, which is the one I'm wearing now, the one I want to show you. I'll leave a link below if you want to see any more of the shades, and I'll also leave a link to a video below showing you swatches of all the shades. It's a, like a minute long video, um, and you can see all the swatches in case you are interested. They are currently £5.50 in the current brochure, but their normal price will be £8. The £5.50 is just like an introductory price. And compared to the MAC ones, the MAC ones are £15.50, so at the moment there's a £10 difference, soon to be a £7.50 difference. Is that right? <laughs> My mathematics right? I think that's pretty right. I'm going to take off the lipstick that I have on at the minute which is the Posh Petal but I'm going to do the MAC one first and then we will compare it to the Avon and you can obviously see what it looks like. And I'm going to start off with MAC Spice Lip Liner. I'm sure you've probably, probably all heard of it. You can actually see the true colour. I'm just going to line my lips and then fill them in with the lipstick. So this is what it looks like with Spice and Velvet Teddy from MAC. I do like it, but it's just something about the, it's just something about the product that I can feel it's there. I do like it and I really like the shade, of course I do, because I bought it. Everyone really likes Ruby Woo, which is a retro matte finish from MAC. Um, and I bought it because everyone was raving about it. And I genuinely think it's the worst lipstick I've ever bought. A matte retro matte finish cannot stand cannot stand so this is this is this is acceptable and I like it so I'm just going to take it off and then I did the same with the Avon products I haven't actually used this lip liner yet but this is the Avon ultra glimmer stick lip liner I'll leave all the links to everything and like prices below um because I didn't say how much the MAC lip liner was but um I'll leave it all in the description box below Okay, so first thing I noticed was that the lip liner was a lot nicer on my lips. It didn't drag across my lips. It's kind of quite creamy. I really like it. Scent wise, uh, the Avon ones are stronger than MAC but not overpowering. They're like a nice, like you could eat it. I really smell it but that might be because I've had it for almost a year now. I would definitely not hesitate to buy myself some more shades. So you can obviously make up your mind um, how you feel about them but I'll leave all the links below. I have written a blog post about them um, showing me different colours and, and the swatch video is on my blog so if you want to have a look at that then check out my blog but I'll, I will link everything in the description box below. I feel like it's a real winner with a matte lipstick when it's not drying and doesn't make your lips feel cracked. Even though these lipsticks are a matte finish they have a really nice velvet texture to them and they're really creamy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of brand versus brand dupe review video um, if you did please give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe for more videos I'll also fingers be crossed getting back into my daily vlogs I just haven't been able to this last little week I also have a exciting announcement in the top line of the description box so if you want to go and check that out it's just down there check out uh, what is waiting in the description box and I will see you very soon for another video